DeepSeek just crashed NVIDIA. Is China now winning the AI race? Yesterday, NVIDIA stock took a massive hit. At one point, it was down almost 30% before recovering slightly, closing the day 17% lower. The reason? A Chinese AI breakthrough called DeepSeek, a chatbot that might not only rival OpenAI's ChatGPT, but possibly even outperform it. But here's the bigger question. Is this the moment when China takes the lead in AI? For years, the assumption has been that the United States had a huge technological advantage in AI, but DeepSeek is shaking up that belief. China already dominates 57 out of 64 key global industries, but AI was seen as one of the few areas where the US was still far ahead. That assumption is now in question. And what makes this even more surprising is how DeepSeek was built. The US has imposed strict restrictions on China's access to top-tier AI chips, particularly NVIDIA's most powerful GPUs. The expectation was that this would slow down the China's progress, but DeepSeek was reportedly trained using second-tier NVIDIA chips, the ones that are still available in, in China. Yet despite this hardware disadvantage, the model is performing on par with OpenAI's latest releases. This suggests something important. Cutting-edge AI may not be as dependent on high-end NVIDIA chips as investors once thought. And that could be why NVIDIA's stock was hit so hard, and it wasn't just NVIDIA. The Microsoft, which owns a major stake in OpenAI, also saw its stock drop, and though not nearly as much. Google fell about 4%, showing that all the major AI players felt the impact. Interestingly, Apple's stock wasn't affected, which makes sense since AI isn't a primary revenue driver for them. And Meta, despite being heavily involved in, in AI research, was actually up 2%. That's likely because their core business is still social media, not AI infrastructure. So this stock market reaction tells us something important. The companies that were hit the hardest were the ones most dependent on AI infrastructure, NVIDIA, Microsoft, and Google. This raises serious questions about whether China has found a way to build powerful AI models at a fraction of the cost and without relying on the highest end chips from NVIDIA. Now, here's what we're going to break down today. Dive into what DeepSeek actually is and how it compares to ChatGPT. After that, we'll explore how China managed to build it despite US sanctions on advanced chips. Then we'll discuss what this means for NVIDIA, OpenAI, and the broader AI industry in the US. And finally, the big question, is this the moment where China officially overtakes the US in AI? Let's get into it. Is, is DeepSeek actually better than ChatGPT? So DeepSeek is now the most downloaded app on the App Store, beating ChatGPT. That alone is huge. ChatGPT has been the go-to AI assistant for millions, and now out of nowhere, this Chinese-built model has taken the top spot. But what's even crazier is the claim that DeepSeek was built for only $5.6 million. That's nothing compared to the billions OpenAI, Google, and Anthropic have spent developing their models. The big question is, is that really true? It's hard to believe a company could train a cutting-edge AI for that little money, especially when OpenAI is spending hundreds of millions on compute alone. Some experts think China may have quietly invested a lot more in DeepSeek than they're letting on. But even if the official number isn't the full story, one thing is clear. DeepSeek is here, and it's shaking up the AI industry. So how does DeepSeek compare to ChatGPT? Well, in areas like math and coding, DeepSeek actually beats ChatGPT 4.0. It got 90% accuracy in one of the toughest math benchmarks, which is seriously impressive. And when it comes to coding, it either matches uh, or even outperforms GPT-4 Turbo in, in some tests. For general knowledge and reasoning, DeepSeek holds up well against ChatGPT. It's competitive, no doubt, but it's way cheaper to run which is a game changer for the industry. Using DeepSeek costs about nine times less than ChatGPT 4.0. That's a huge deal for companies and developers building AI-powered apps. If this kind of efficiency becomes the norm, it could totally change how AI businesses operate. That said, DeepSeek 
isn't perfect. One of its biggest weaknesses is memory. It doesn't remember past conversations. ChatGPT 40, on the other hand, can recall details from previous chats, which makes a big difference when you're working on longer tasks. It's also not as good at creative writing. If you need to generate stories, marketing copy, or complex ideas, ChatGPT still does a better job. And there's another big limitation. DeepSeek is text only. ChatGPT 4.0 can analyze images, handle voice input, and even work with video. That makes it way more versatile. So which model is better? It, it depends. If you need an AI for math, coding, or, or general knowledge, DeepSeek is really impressive. And because it's so much cheaper to run, it's, it's definitely going to be a problem for companies like OpenAI. But if you're looking for memory, creativity, and multimodal capabilities, ChatGPT 4.0 is, is still ahead. The bigger takeaway here isn't just about DeepSeek itself. It's about what this means for AI as a whole. For years, people assumed the US was far ahead in AI, but now we're seeing that uh, China is catching up fast, and they're doing it with cheaper, more efficient models that don't even need NVIDIA's most powerful chips. And that leads to the next big question. How did China manage to build DeepSeek despite all the U.S. sanctions on chips? Let's get into that next. Instead of relying on massive clusters of the most powerful GPUs, DeepSeek was designed from the start to be more efficient. It uses a mixture of experts approach, where only parts of the model activate at a time, cutting down computing costs while still delivering high performance. Unlike OpenAI, which built everything from scratch, DeepSeek leaned heavily on open source models like Meta's Little Llama and Alibaba's Quen, saving both time and money. But the biggest challenge was the US chip sanctions, which blocked China from accessing NVIDIA's best AI chips like the H100. Instead of slowing down, DeepSeek worked with older A100 chips, optimizing their memory usage and streamlining their training methods to make them work nearly as well. There's also speculation that the Chinese government quietly backed DeepSeek, as Beijing has been aggressively funding AI projects. This combination of efficiency, collaboration, and smart workarounds explains why DeepSeek was able to launch a top-tier AI model for, for so little. More importantly, it proves that AI breakthroughs aren't just about having the best chips, but about making the most of what's available. And that's exactly why NVIDIA's stock uh, crashed 17%. Investors are starting to realize that cutting-edge AI might not be as dependent on their most expensive chips as they once thought. The real question now is if China can build AI this cheaply and scale it fast and what that will mean for the U.S. tech industry. DeepSeek's sudden rise is a shock to the U.S. AI industry. But instead of signaling the decline of American dominance, it might ignite the AI race even further. If there's one thing we know about Donald Trump, it's that he won't accept losing to China, especially in AI. His administration has already pledged $500 billion to AI infrastructure. And DeepSeek's success could push the US to double down on OpenAI, NVIDIA, and Google. Instead of slowing them down, this might actually accelerate the road to AGI. The fact that a Chinese company built a chat GPT-level AI for a fraction of the cost has shaken up Wall Street. But it's also lighting a fire under Silicon Valley. NVIDIA, Microsoft, and OpenAI now have even more reason to push harder, invest more, and move faster. Expect more aggressive funding, stronger government backing, and rapid AI advancements as the U.S. fights to maintain its lead. But here's the twist. DeepSeek may never truly compete in the West. With growing concerns over data security and AI regulation, it's very likely the US and Europe will ban DeepSeek, just like they did with Huawei and TikTok in, in government institutions. If that happens, DeepSeek's reach will be limited, uh, preventing it from becoming a true global competitor to open AI. So is this a, a game changer? Um, yes but not in the way you might think. This isn't the downfall of US AI. It's a wake-up call that could push the US to accelerate even faster. The real story here isn't just whether America stays ahead, but how much this rivalry speeds up AI's evolution. 
Deep Seek's rise is a shock to the system, but does it mean the end of U.S. dominance in AI? Not necessarily. China has already taken the lead in most global industries, and now they've proven they can build top-tier AI without the best chips, without billions in funding, and without U.S. tech infrastructure. That alone shatters the idea that the U.S. is untouchable in AI. But will China dominate? That's still up for debate. What's certain is that this will push AI development in the U.S. into overdrive. DeepSeek has shown AI can be built faster and cheaper, and if OpenAI, Google, and others learn from that efficiency, they could come out even stronger. Meanwhile, expect the Trump administration to double down on AI funding, cut red tape, and prioritize winning the AI race over cybersecurity concerns. So is this the moment China pulls ahead? or the moment the U.S. accelerates like never before. Either way, this just supercharged the AI arms race, and AGI might be coming a lot sooner than we thought.